Clear tracking breaking news for you this morning. A man shot to death early this morning on Carlton Drive in South Jackson. Jewel Hillary has been digging for details and she joins us live. Good morning. We are following breaking news in the Alert Center this morning in the capital city. A possible stabbing to tell you about. Here's a look at the scene at 416 Heloise Street just into our newsroom. The incident happened around 3 a.m. The extent of injury is unclear right now. We're digging to get more information from Jackson Police. Again, we are gathering more information about a possible stabbing early this morning on Heloise Street in Jackson. We'll keep you posted. I'm Cheryl Lassiter in the Alert Center. New this morning, Blue Bell Ice Cream makes a comeback to store shelves. Cheryl Lassiter is in the Alert Center tracking it. Cheryl, we can't get too excited though, right? No, no you can't get too excited, unfortunately, Joy, because Mississippi shelves aren't going to get it yet. Alabama and Texas are getting it first. Today's deliveries of Blue Bell Ice Cream will be the first since that listeria outbreak four months ago. That health scare led to a voluntary recall and also halted production of the ice cream. The company is taking its time getting it back to the stores, and we're still waiting to hear when Mississippi Shell, specifically the Jackson area, will be filled once again with Blue Bell and when it will reopen its other creameries as well. We will keep you posted. I'm Cheryl Lassiter in the Alert Center. All right, this just in. Two fires burning in Memphis, both near a high school. Cheryl Lassiter is in the Alert Center with that. Cheryl. Wilson, one of those fires is burning in Kingsbury High School's football field. We're awaiting more images, but we can show you this picture. This is the other fire that engulfed a house on Vaughn Road. A family of seven was inside the home, we're hearing, and it's unclear right now if anyone has been injured. That fire, the other fire again on the football field as the Memphis Fox station is reporting a pile of pallets were set on fire. No damage to the school building has been reported yet. It is approaching time for students to get to class, so it's unclear if the school day will be affected. We are going to keep our eye on both of these fires and bring you updates. I'm Cheryl Lassiter in the Alert Center. This just in, some world leaders are calling Hungary's efforts to control the influx of refugees inhumane. Okay, Cheryl Lassiter in the Alert Center with that. Cheryl. Wilson, we've been watching developments in this story for the past week. Take a look. Hungary put up this razor wire fence on its border to try to control the constant flow of migrants. They're coming from Syria and other war-torn countries. Entire families are coming on foot from these countries, often headed to other Western European countries. The foreign minister to France says building that razor wire fence is extremely harsh. He says Europe has values, and those values are not respected by putting up fences. And they, he says that those fences wouldn't even be used for animals. We've learned here in the Alert Center that there are new efforts to fingerprint and register refugees. I'm Cheryl Lassiter in the Alert Center.